Oh, she's so cute. She's like so cute. I love her. Tell me, tell me, tell me what I'm gonna do. Tell me how I'm gonna live my life without you. Yeah, tell me, tell me what hey, I'm gonna do. Squad, and welcome back to a new video. I'm so, so, so excited to get into some more bit life today. I know I'm playing this a lot, but I absolutely am enjoying this so much. It's giving me like such a nice, fresh sort of pair of eyes on The Sims and the way to play it. And I am just having an absolute ton of fun. So in the last episode, both myself, Viola, and all four of my siblings, we are now children. However, I am just about to become a teenager and start to navigate the world of high school and romance and all the other crazy stuff you can do in bit life so i'm super super excited to start today's episode but while it gets into it my p.o box is going a bit crazy so i thought i'd just open one or two of them just because this wall of boxes at the side of me is sort of scaring me a little bit okay so i've got one here oh my gosh wow check this out this is so cool hey claire when you and ali gonna do a meet and greet in the uk this is my puppy she is a pug this is my tabby cat it's tink this is my tabby cat alice my name is violet me and i love your channel i watch your videos every day also got another cat called pause i can't believe you have three cats i'm so jealous and there's some stuff in here i don't know if this is edible or not i'm scared i don't want to eat it in case it isn't in case it's like slime please don't eat slime claire <laughs> and then oh there's some little treats for evie as well thank you so so much violet may thank you violet may how funny that literally the character in the series is called violet okay i'm gonna get into it let's go home to rory while it's loading i'm gonna try and open another one real speedy feats oh gosh i'm running out of time i'm running out of time ah! oh wow Oh my gosh! So, this person has sent me a picture of them and their Shetland sheepdog. I'm pretty sure that's a Sheltie. That is the dog Ali wants to get. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, it's a Tuesday, 8 a.m. Audrey's at work. Uh, Viola, only one of my children is at school. Okay, that's real bad. Can all of my kids please get to school and stop being so naughty? Wait, how come you don't have to go to school? How come everybody has to go to school except Joan? Well, that's not fair. <laughs> okay, if you're at home, then you can clean because our house is gross. Once you've done all your chores, you're allowed some fun because nobody has fun. Apparently, I don't have school either. Oh, go to school. Okay, go to school. Ellis, go to school. When do you don't have school? I feel a bit sorry for Joan. She's kind of home alone. I don't really understand why, but I'm not going to complain. She can go ahead and clean the whole house for me. Now, I'm also going to get rid of some of this baby stuff now because I feel like my, my bit life parents have stopped having kids. I really hope that that's the case, but you never know. Then she can get some cereal and she can watch some TV. Oh man, I'm kind of jealous of Joan today. She's got a way more fun day than us. Okay, so the person with the Sheltie says, Hi Claire, you're such an amazing YouTuber. You're so funny and whenever I watch your videos, I can't stop smiling. My favorite character is Summer. Oh my gosh, I think you should make Summer an actress when she grows up. That's so funny because she actually is now. My name is Sienna, I'm 10 years old and I have my own bean. She is a Sheltie and her name is Nandi. I enjoy track and swimming. Oh, and she's asked for a picture of myself with my signature. I absolutely can do that and I can't wait to show this to Ali because this is his dream dog. Look at her at home eating a little cereal, watching some kids TV. I'm mad jealous. Okay, because I'm in school in bit life, I'm gonna get myself to study a little bit harder in school. I'm as distracted apparently. I'm not very bright, but it's fine. So because I did that, I'm gonna get her to study hard in school. I'm just gonna ask the other kids to as well, but honestly, all of our smarts are quite low, so I don't know whether it's gonna help or not. And then look at this. She's also given me a little brace and these two little cutie pie things as well. Thank you so, so much. What an awesome start to the episode. Honestly, Joan is like such a naughty kid that I don't really mind getting her to do loads of cleaning. <laughs> She's really mean to me and she also has a mean kid's face. Like, she just looks sort of mean. <laughs> oh my gosh, and she breaks everything. What? Oh my gosh, and look at this. It's a super hot sunny day today. It's a heat wave. Wow, okay, it actually looks really hot, doesn't it? Oh, wow, look at that. Can you see that? Because it's a heat wave. Everything's like shaking a little bit. Oh, I never knew it did that. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Look how swampy it is over there as well. It's like super swamp land over there. Okay, I'm gonna get them a central heating system inside the house because I don't want them to like all die of heat. Okay, there we go. We've got a thermostat in the house and when the pa I don't think the kids can change it, but when the parents get home, I'm gonna set it to cool because she is overheating. And she's at home playing The Sims. 
problems? Well, my poor little Violet has to work. That's not fair. Okay, Violet's still really good friends with this Billy, which is super cute. All the kids are just doing satisfactory at school, which lines up with bit life, so that's absolutely fine. And I literally just realized that I really want them to be able to do movie stuff properly, like I can do in bit life. So I've just bought movie hangout stuff. That is the level of commitment we're going for here. Slash taking it way too seriously. <laughs> so now I can watch a movie with my friend Billy. This is cool. Watch a kid's movie. Let's watch Cortex Catastrophe with Billy, my friendo. And then in game, I can get them to go to a movie theater. Wow. Also, she can start doing this meditation as well. So I'm going to get, I don't know if kids can meditate or not, but I, Billy, you're allowed to sit on the sofa, weirdo. Uh, either way, I'm gonna get her a meditation mat. Pop it here in the garden, and then I can get her to meditate if she wants to as well. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and look, a little naughty Ellis wrecking. He's turned into, he's angry because he had an annoying day at school. He, uh, like, Ellis is a brat. Ellis is actually a brat and you guys were saying it's good that you know you're not like getting on super well with all your siblings because that's more realistic and I really really like that idea so I am gonna go ahead in game I feel really bad doing this but we're gonna do it with Ellis we're struggling with him we're gonna squabble with Ellis we squabbled about whose turn it is to use the computer okay I can totally do that so that's great look at him walking in being all angry so we want to use the computer after we finish with the movie, but um, Ellis is like, no, I'm going to use it. So we are going to argue about such a... No, it's my computer. You're not allowed to use it. I'm going to do the argument with Ellis. Oh, and they're still arguing. They're still sat there arguing with each other. They just don't get on. It's cool. I find like she gets on really well with Margaret. That's like her best sister. Ellis and her don't get on at all. I think Ellis, to be honest, is just vexed at being the only boy with loads of sisters. And we don't get along quite as well with Joan either. We find Joan quite hard to get along with. So this is all good. This is all working really realistically and I like it a lot. Look, you know the awkward feeling when you're a friend around at somebody's house and the siblings start arguing and you just sat there like, I don't know what to do. This is really awkward. Or when they argue with their parents. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. You literally just want the floor to swallow you when that happens. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and age myself up another year in bit life. Ooh. I am now 13 years old. One of my teachers has assigned me a group project for you and your classmates. What will you do? I'm gonna do my share of the project. And I'm now 13. I'm not in high school yet though. I think I'm gonna keep her a child until she gets to high school and do it that way instead. But this is cool because she's now got a group project. I wonder if I've been given one at school or not. Because if I have, I can actually just totally... Yes, I have! Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Do you just love it when things work out pretty well? I'm gonna pop this on the floor. And then I'm gonna see if Billy wants to do my group project with me. And I'm doing my share, so I'm gonna start her working carefully. I feel like I can do this so realistically. I actually love it so much. And also, just because I'm getting a little bit older, I'm gonna ask both of my parents for a little bit of money because you need money in bit life. Even though I can't do it in the game, I don't think the game has an option for pocket money, like The Sims, sorry. I really wish it did because I think that would be a really cool way to add some realism to it. But unfortunately, you can't have that. Like, no individual Sims can manage their own finances, which kind of sucks. This is cool because, look, we're doing a little school project with our friend Billy and we're being fair. We're doing a fair amount of work as well. Well, which is good even though we're a year older our looks have dropped from 100 to 99 percent which is obviously still really high because we are a ridiculously beautiful little child she's like snow white or something she's gorgeous and mum constantly needs time away from the kids she finds this pretty tough my smarts though i've gone down again look i've even got that stupid face next to me so honestly i am pretty dumb like my character's really dumb <laughs> which sucks because bit life's harder if you're stupid i'm really hoping as well that my oh they're teasing each other oh they're laughing about it though i'm really oh wow thanks Rory, for just walking out of my legs i hope that my bit life mom and dad don't get divorced or anything because i actually really like our little family but i can't control whether that happens in game it will just happen on its own oh this is so annoying like my game just has fires all the time it's driving me mad you're a firefighter so i'm gonna get you to extinguish yourself oh wow mum ran straight in there in her pjs and extinguished us thanks mum i seem to have scared my little friend away from my house with the fire which is a shame because she was helping us with our project. But it's fine because best sister Margaret has come to help us. Even though she's pretty smelly. I'm going to call her Maggie from now onwards. 
Margaret is gonna become Maggie. And Jones noticed somebody bullying one of her friends at school, so I'm gonna get her to step up and stand up for them. <gasps> Look at that! I've got extra credit for my school project. That's awesome. Can I like put it on a counter or something? Oh look, I can put it on the desk. There we go. School project done. She's well happy with that. And she seems like she's having really nice conversations with Joan, so I'm gonna do that in game too. Have a conversation. Oh man, Joan's tough. I, I need to try and like have a nice relationship with her, but it's really hard. Like she is honestly just a little bra. I'm just gonna agree to disagree with her, which means in game, I'm gonna have to call her names to damage their relationship a little bit. She's hard though. She's easier than Ellis, but she's definitely not as agreeable as Margaret. Margaret's the best. Maggie. Maggie's the best. Okay, everyone's asleep. Oh no. Poor dad. Dad's still blackened from also being on fire, so I'll get him for a wee at a toilet and then he's back to bed. But another, should I do another year? It feels like I'm doing it so fast, but I guess, oh my gosh, my, my smarts are so bad. I'm gonna get to do one more day of school in this. I'm gonna get to study hard in game. I'm gonna do it a few times actually because I feel like she really needs it and go to a library in game as well. I'll say that she does that at school. Like she goes to her school library in The Sims. London Public Library, wow. <laughs> oh, my smarts have gone up to 16. Okay, that's clearly helped. Still though, 16%, I feel like that's like a grade D. She's currently a grade C. Either way, I just don't feel like she's gonna be... <laughs> She's not gonna be a doctor. Let's put it that way. Oh, and it's the lottery in my Sims today, but you can't buy a lottery ticket in game until you get a little bit older. So I can't tell you how much easier this game is now that they're kids. It was awful when they were toddlers. It was so hard. Uh, go to school. Come on, everyone, go to school. They're so bad at going to school. And you're gonna have to study hard because I made you study in game. Oh my gosh, end life. I don't know how I did that, but I definitely don't want to do that. Okay, let's go ahead and age up another year. So a nuclear meltdown in Australia has claimed the lives of 18 people and 1,700 have fled their homes. However, that's not gonna impact us because we live in England, so I don't really know why it does that stuff so much, but and everyone's come home miserable. I'm 14, like, should I make a girl? I think when I'm six, when she's 16, I'll make her look like a teenager in game. I don't know, it's tough to know when to age her up because she can start looking for love already in this. Like she could try and find herself a date, but I do have the first love mod installed in this so they can like do cutesy little stuff when they're children as well. I don't know, I kind of feel like when she's 16 is when I need to change her into a teenager in this. Then would she only be a teen for two years? I don't know. Oh no, what does that mean? Violet is going through a phase. Okay, so if I play an instrument apparently, I turn all radios up to 11. I'm in a little bit of a strange phase. Okay, let's have a look for love. Let's just see, because we could always add a little kid to the game. We've got this guy, Tony Andrews. He's 13. Good looking. He's kind of, he's quite smart, but he's really crazy. We don't want a crazy boyfriend. Oh, look at this person, Luca Sheringham. He's got really high looks, he's got really high smarts, he's not very crazy and he's quite popular. Should we try? I'm gonna ask him out. <gasps> he rejected me, no! I don't get that because I'm so pretty. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm not very smart. Oh well, I'm gonna go to the movies to make myself feel a little bit better. So I'm gonna get her and Margaret to go watch a children's movie together. Oh look, she's having a little cry for herself. And she's angry as well. I'm angry, sorry, I keep saying it like it's third person. But at least I'm having some nice conversations with Margaret, so I'll do that in game too. Me and Margaret get on so well. Like, we literally get on so well. Alice thinks he's not smart, smart enough. Well, he's kind of not. So you need to practice on life a little bit, Ellis. Let's we'll see if we can have a nice conversation with Ellis. Yeah, his petulance is so high. No, he's had a disagreement with us again. I'm gonna insult him. I, oh, I called him a really rude name. <gasps> he assaulted me. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to make him do that in game. I'm gonna get him to try and pick a fight with us. Oh gosh. He actually hit us in games, so I, but I don't know if he can make little kids hit each other or not. So I feel mean doing it all together, but I can get my, I can make him get me all riled up and angry. Oh, so they're, they're having a proper little argument. Our in-game relationship is like, I'd say like 30%, 40% maybe is pretty bad. 
<laughs> it's even worse in The Sims right now. So yeah, they're kind of hating on each other quite badly. Me and my brothers sort of hate each other at this point. Oh well, it's sad, but I'm gonna get her to study hard in school. Keep trying to do well in school. She can start to work out at the gym. See, I do feel like I need to make her a teenager, don't I? She's 14. I could try and make her like a young teenager. Okay, I think I'll have to age her up because she can't do gym or meditate or anything while she's still a little kid. So let's get dad to go ahead and cook us a little cake. I'm super angry from the hatred of my brother, but you're gonna have to blow out. I'm gonna have to blow out the candles and become a teenager just so I can start doing more stuff. So when she first becomes a teenager, I'm gonna make her like a young teenager. So like no makeup, like really fresh faced. And then as she gets older, we can start adding like her makeup and stuff. So I still don't really know what I wanna be in life. I'm still not really very smart. My happiness has dropped as well because I'm a feuding with my brother, but I am still super attractive. So for now, I'm, I'm kind of tempted to look for a soulmate. <laughs> and I'm gonna make myself good because I do seem really nice. I'm not very smart. So I might make myself clumsy as well. Okay, good and clumsy. <laughs> Let's go ahead and edit me and cast because right now I've got cat ears and that's just not gonna happen. Wow, it really did go full furry on me. Okay, so I'm definitely pretty. <laughs> I am definitely pretty. I'm gonna keep me makeup free for now and also dress myself quite young because I'm only like, I'm only, what, my 14? She definitely looks older than 14. But still, I wanna like make her look as young as I can for her age at least. Okay, so I've tried to keep her like quite young looking. Hopefully oh, none of these outfits are too grown up. I think they're all pretty young though, like she doesn't look freakishly old, so hopefully she'll still look like a teenager. Although it's a little bit awkward because she doesn't look like an, an elementary school kid anymore, but at least she looks the oldest of all her siblings now. Sorry. She's super angry though. But what I think I can do now is get her to- can I make her like create a social media profile? She can only do Simstagram for now, but that's fine because if I get her to check her social- I could do it on a phone actually. Oh man, it must be rubbish still sharing with your little sisters as she gets older. But she's just gonna like check her social timeline, add to her Instagram story and stuff. And I can do that in game because I can get her to create a social media profile and she can go ahead and post some updates on there. Although nobody cares very much right now, but still, at least we're trying. And look, all three of them have to share this room still. <laughs> oh, and she doesn't have to heart start high school till tomorrow. So that's pretty good. It's a really rubbish day. So I'm gonna move her meditation thing inside and she can meditate in The Sims now and I can make her meditate in bit life. So that works pretty well. Do some meditation. I can also get her to go to the gym, both in BitLife and in The Sims. So after she's meditated, I'm gonna get her to visit the gym and she'll do the same in BitLife. Oh, she's scared of thunderstorms. That's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and travel to the gym. Movers and shakers. I don't even know if I've ever been to this gym. I honestly usually replace my lots with like ones from the gallery or ones I make. So it's kind of fun to do the uh, OG ones. Man, it's such a terrible day. Get out of the lightning, okay? And you're gonna go and do some working out. She's bored by it. <laughs> and that's cool because in game I can get her to go to the gym. In game we have to pay 20 pounds a time we go, so I just have to be a little bit careful about how many times I make her go. That's gonna help her looks even more though. Some dude bros working out. Well, they're actually dancing rather than working out, but still. In BitLife you can meet people at the gym, but I've sent her to the gym twice in BitLife and she hasn't met anyone, which is a little bit of a shame, but oh well. And then after that, I'm gonna get her to visit the library, both in here and also in BitLife. How? So look at this. She's such a little well-rounded individual in both games, which I'm kind of loving. Okay, time to head home. I'm really hoping that when I go on one of these, she'll like find love. I'm sort of scared of uh, her getting rejected again, but I'm gonna have a look and see if we can kind of try and find another date. Okay, let's try and find some more love. Uh, there's Jaden Anderson. Mm, no, I'm not feeling him. This one's way too crazy for us. I need to also like keep an eye on the age. Ellie Kingsley, oh my God. Another fire? Are you joking? Where is the fire this time? Oh, the barbecue is on fire. Of course it is. Of course it is. I think mum's just had enough of life. She's just stood there in the fire. Mum, what are you even doing? Mum, extinguish the fire for us. Dad's not home. You're gonna have to do it. Too many fires. Literally just too many fires. Okay, we're gonna ask Eli Kingsley. Please say yes, Eli. <gasps> he rejected and called us a moron. He's not interested in us because we're not smart enough. <gasps> this is actually just heartbreaking. No one, you are unable to find anyone to love. 
Oh, guys, that's so sad. Okay, everyone's having a little sleep -roo. She'll have her first day at high school tomorrow, so I think I need to age her up in the year in this. I started high school. I've been thinking about joining the photography club at my school. Okay. That's cool. I'll get her a camera. And this has actually worked out really well because she's about to go into her first day of high school, both in The Sims and in BitLife. So I will hold off on Ellis being a teenager for just one more year in BitLife. So I'm going to get her to study hard in high school. We're still not super smart though. Um, because she wants to join the photography club, I'm going to go ahead and buy her a camera. Yeah, I'll pop it on this desk for her. And then she can go ahead and add that to her inventory. And then since she said the photography thing, I'm going to get her to like start taking pictures like uh, with her family and stuff that she can put in her room just because I think that would be super cute I'll and one of you it. guys There's said that car. you did that Andy. in your game as well and it'll just be like a nice way for us to remember all like the live stages and stuff that's so cute and she can upload one can I upload it to Simstagram? okay I have to put it in the world first She's not sure who she is, but don't worry. You've got a little bit more time yet. I'm gonna upload this one to Simstagram. And then in game, I will go ahead and post a status update there too. Okay, she's getting some pictures of all of like her brothers and sisters too. Even though I don't know why we would want one of him because we don't like him so much. He's a little bit of a brat, but oh well. So she's headed into high school. Let's make her study real hard. She studied until she went cross-eyed. Okay, let's do it in game as well. There we go. Oh man, look how much the picture of little margaret is no margaret why you look so much for she's in a bad mood because of the storm and i sent us the library in bitlife because i want to improve her smarts so i did the same in sims but look in bitlife she's bumped into this bryn jones guy he's born he's pretty attractive he's also quite smart he's 13 so he's a little bit younger than us he's not crazy and he's not very popular should i try and ask him out <gasps> oh my gosh she's got her first boyfriend he's two years younger than her but she does have her first boyfriend. I guess I need to make him then. Okay, okay. Uh, how can I do this? I guess I'll just edit another person in game. Maybe this little Alexander Goth kid here. And let's go ahead and find somebody on the Claire Shimon. Oh, look, I'm trending. Oh, it's the first time I've ever seen it live. Okay, let's have a look at Claire Shimon Townies to try and find this boy. I'm looking for someone with blonde hair. Um, brown eyes. Okay, this guy's got brown hair, but I want to see what he looks like in game. Okay, guys, so let me know what you think. This is Bryn Jones. I've tried to, like, make him reflect his in-game, which is, like, he's meant to be attractive. He's also meant to be a lot smarter than we are, but he's not meant to be super popular. So what I haven't done is given him, like, um, super overly trendy stuff. I've tried to keep his dress sense, like, pretty neutral because I feel like if you were popular, that's when you'd be dressing really trendy, and if you weren't, that's that's when you'd be uh, dressing more, more like not more average. <laughs> I also am sorry for what I've done to you, Alexandra Goth. So I've ruined the Goth family here, but it was a necessary evil. So look, I've got her to meet him at <laughs> yeah, the library. Yeah. She's pretty tense about the storm. So it might be hard to try and make them get on, but I'm gonna try because they are meant to be like, dating <laughs> okay i feel like we're slowly getting him in a good mood he is cute they do look pretty oh he's still pretty tense but they do look cute together okay i like this and they're getting along pretty well little brin i'm not saying this has to be our forever boy either it's just like a nice current boy if you know yeah. we've learned that he's yeah. a little bit of a loner which kind of makes sense because in game uh, sorry in bit life his popularity is super low so that makes sense. So we're gonna try and like try a few flirt options now. She's gonna do a pickup line and also try and make a flirtatious joke with him. Oh, he likes it! This is so cute! It's matching up so perfectly that I'm actually loving it so much. Oh, he's come to sit next to me! I, I'm weirded out by the fact that he's two years younger than me, but look. I think we might actually have our first little crush and romance in The Sims and in bit life which is making me so happy they're so cute they are literally just so cute <gasps> guys 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 i think we're having our first ever kiss <gasps> oh she's so cute she's like so cute i love her okay we're gonna ask him to be our boyfriend so that we can match up boyfriends on game he said yes and then i'm gonna have a conversation with him in game we have a conversation about the best gift we've ever received oh look we get on so well in game as well i actually just love this so much i don't want to try and have like um a baby with him yet we're gonna take things nice and easy for now 
But we get on so, so well, both in The Sims and on here. That was a super easy relationship to create in The Sims, so... I'm really, really happy about that. I'm gonna send her home because she's sleepy, but at the tender age of 15, she now has her first boyfriend. Ah, young love. She's gone to bed all flirty and happy and like, I love like her big pajamas with the big sleeves. They're so cute. And Maggie's upset because Joan has taken her bed for the night. Joan's naughty. Joan and Ellis are trouble. We're the sweet kids, they're the scary kids. Oh my gosh, she's woken up the next day and she is still flirty you guys and i've got to take a little picture of joan as well oh my gosh look at her posing <laughs> so cute though it actually matches her personality really well okay so i think we've got photos of all the siblings she needs to get a photo with a boyfriend as well i'm so glad she picked the photography still skill to get into because it works out so nicely oh it does have a stupid little troll in it but never mind oh and look at that the photo of margaret obviously has to have joan's big head in the way oh my gosh she's around in the house He's actually around at the house. Oh, this is perfect because you guys can get a picture together. I didn't know we just shown up. Julie? Oh, they're so oh, cute. Sure. Uh, I actually can't... love them. I get a black and white one too. Oh, what absolute little bum bums. I'm going to get her a little bedside table and put the picture of them both on it because I think that would be so cute. Her first wife. Adorable. Oh my gosh. Look at <laughs> Joe's like, I hate you two kissing. It's so gross. <laughs> Even the dad is like, wow, this got fu this got intense quickly. He's meant to be only 13 as well, which is like the weirdest bit. Oh, and I don't think I can turn it into like a little handheld, a little one that goes on here. That's so annoying. Oh, I wanted to make it like one that goes on there. Never mind, she can just put it on there. She's still getting like a more grown up area and I love all like the photos she's got of her family and everything. So I think the last thing to do is just, oh, the fridge is broken. Uh, let's replace that please, because I don't want anyone to die is just age up little Ellis as well. So I'm gonna cook a little cake. Yeah. So I'm gonna age up one more year, which means, th I think that should mean that Ellis also starts high school. Let me just check. Let me go ahead and I really hope they stay with the boyfriend. Let's age up another year. There's a really bad earthquake in Montego Bay. However, I'm 16. Ellis hasn't aged up yet. He's still a little bit younger, so... I'm just gonna spend some more time with uh, Bryn. I still can't get along with Ellis. Like, I literally still can't get along with him. <gasps> and oh no, I'm suffering from the flu. I can actually get flu in The Sims. I don't really know how to give myself it, but I can get some medicine, so I'll get some medicine. I'll get her to take medicine in game. And in bit life, I will go to the doctor. And I got a flu shot, so there we go. Okay, I'm gonna go one more year. So my little brother has started high school. I can take um, a driving test. I'm gonna take my driving test. I can't drive in The Sims, but I'm gonna do merge, I think it is. I failed my driving test, oh my gosh. But my little brother started high school and so did my boyfriend. <laughs> Disturbing. So let's go ahead and get little Ellis to blow out the candles. I'm checking and his looks are still really high, but his petulance is even higher. So he's definitely going to grow up into a bit of a mean teenager, I'm afraid, guys. I'm sorry for any Ellis fans out there. He's still going to be good looking, but he's definitely going to be a little bit mean, I'm afraid. Okay, so... I'm gonna give him the... Oh man, he's got shades on. Which one should I give him? I'm gonna say that he wants to become rich one day. And he's also, I'm afraid, gonna get the mean trait. Because that's how he is in bit life. So let's sort this nonsense out right now. And let's go and design him as well. Okay, because Ellis is, his petulance is so high, I kind of like want to make him almost like, you know, he's a bit naughty. He's like a probably a little bit of a troublemaker. So I've tried to dress him as such. Let me know if you think I'm on the right lines, but this is the kind of vibe I want to do with him. Like he's a little bit cheeky basically. And he's definitely stayed like attractive, I think. Like he's still a good looking dude. He's just a bit of a troublemaker. So as he gets older, Older, I think we'll put some piercings and tattoos on him. I would like to give him like a little bit of scruff as he starts to go through his teenage years. It's gonna be a lot of fun. You guys are also asking me to put this household on the gallery. So I'm gonna go ahead and share this for you. Oh, 
You guys will see- if I do it now, you'll see how they look when they grow up, so I will do it, uh, afterwards. <laughs> Need to upload the video first. <laughs> and I'll get- even though we don't get on that well, I'll still get a birthday picture with my brother. Just to show how he looks a little bit older. Oh, my game will freeze. Oh man, I can't believe it's frozen. I think- I think I'm just gonna have to try and- I'm gonna- am I gonna lose loads of my thing? I don't know. I can't do anything. I literally can't do anything. It's like broken when I asked it to take a picture. I'm so scared of losing everything. No. I've been playing for two hours. I've actually been playing for two hours. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back and like redo everything I did to make things right. But when we go to the next episode, it will be okay again. Because luckily, I, I lost my Sims game, not my bit life. I'd never be able to get my bit life back, but luckily I could just play on this and get it back to where it was before. It's super annoying, but it's more annoying for me than you guys. I will get things back. I will get um, the boyfriend back. I will age up Ellis. I will age up myself. Don't you guys worry. However, I'm not happy. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching anyway, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.